Paris Tresol was the French Titan, an absolute unit for France's backliner in the 1970s, who scored this spectacular goal in the 1982 World Cup. Barrios is one of the greatest French defenders ever who had a wonderful club career in France, but he actually wasn't French. Well, he was, but he also wasn't. But I'll explain what I mean later on in the video. Ale. Barrios Paul Tresol was born on January 15th, 1950 in St. Anne Guadeloupe, which is a small island nation located in the Caribbean. Now, Barrios began his club career in Guadeloupe with local side Juventus St. Anne. He joined Juventus at the age of eight, played there until he was 18, and in his final season, he helped his boyhood club become league champions in 1969. Barrios was then scouted by French outfit Asse Ajaccio, so at just 18, he would leave Guadeloupe and make the long journey across the Atlantic to the French island of Corsica. Barrios spent four seasons at Ajaccio, making around 90 appearances and helped the club go from 16th place and in the relegation zone in his first season to 6th place in his last full season. Then in October of 1972, Marios joined Olympic Marseille, so he made the short flight from the French island to the French mainland and the coastal city of Marseille, where he would spend the next 8 years season. Now, Marius started out at right back, but slowly transitioned into his preferred position at center back, and he would go on to make nearly 300 appearances for Les Fossiens. And in 1976, he captained Marseille as they beat Olympic Lyon 2-0 in the final to win the Coupe de France. But three years later, Marius' relationship with the club and staff would start to go downhill, and he would actually want to move away to Bayern München, but his transfer was refused. However, after the 1979-1980 season, Marius would depart Marseille, but not to Germany. He would stay in France as he joined Gironde de Bordeaux. So Marius made the trip to southwestern France and Bordeaux, where he would end his career. Marius would play four seasons for Bordeaux from 1980 to 1984, and he was part of the best stretch in the club's history as they finished in third fourth, second, and in his final season, Bordeaux would finish first and won League 1 for the first time since 1950. Barrios would make 116 appearances for Bordeaux, and at the age of 34, he would retire from professional football. So that is Marios' entire club career, around 16 seasons a Coupe de France with Marseille, and ended his career on a high with the Ligue 1 title with Bordeaux, but Marios is best known for his time with the France national team. So let's see how he performed for Le Bleu. Alle, alle, alle. Marios made his France debut on December 4th, 1971 in a European qualifier versus Bulgaria at the age of 21. And you might be wondering, how could Marios play for France and become a legend when he was born in Guadeloupe? Well, listen to this. Guadeloupe is an overseas department or France, or in other words, the way I understand it, it's like a territory. So Guadeloupeans are actually eligible to be part of the France national team, i.e. Marios Tresol. Now, Guadeloupe isn't a part of FIFA, so they're not eligible to participate in any World Cups, but the Guada boys are a part of CONCAF and the Caribbean Federation, so they can take part in the Gold Cups, Nations League, and Caribbean Tournament. But that's a little backstory on why slash how Marios, a Guadalupean, could play for France. Now, Marios only played in two international tournaments with France, the 1978 World Cup and the 1982 World Cup. No Euros, because despite how dominant France is right now, and in the times of Zizo, Turam, Vieira, etc., France didn't qualify for the Euros from 1964 to 1980. But then in 1984, one year after Marius retired, France hosted the tournament and won it all. Now, the 1978 World Cup, Marius played the full 90 in France's three matches, but they would be eliminated in the group stage thanks to losses to Italy and Argentina. But the 1982 World Cup was a completely different story. Marios once again played every single minute as France got runner-up in the first group stage and then topped their group in the next stage. So they advanced to the semifinals where they had a date with West Germany. In the semis, Mario scored one of his only goals for France, a beautiful volley from a set piece. Mario's a center back? Scoring a goal like that? Alle, alle, alle. And the golazo came in extra time, which gave France a 2-1 lead, but Germany would score two late goals, and it would be tied 3-3 going into pen. Marius wouldn't end up taking a pun, but Le Bleu would lose 5-4 in the shootout, and they would finish the tournament in fourth place, which was their best finish since 1958 when they came third. Marius would go on to make a handful of more appearances, but after over 60 appearances, a couple goals, which includes this nasty volley from the 1982 World Cup. Roll the clip. Win! 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 Win!
Barrios would retire from the France national team at the end of 1983. Barrios Threso was a force to be reckoned with on the back line, the French Titan, and one of the greatest French defenders ever.